You are welcome to solve this exponential equation, which is x to the power 6. This is equal to 2 to the power 6. Now, what are the values of x? So, if it is your first time you come across videos from this channel, kindly subscribe. Thank you for any returning subscribers. Now, solution from here. Solution. Let's take 2 to the power 6 on the left-hand side. We will have x to the power 6. Subtract 2 to the power 6. This is equal to 0. Now, we can express x to the power 6 as x to the power 3 squared. Subtract 2 to the power 6, which you can express as 2 to the power 3 squared. This is equal to 0. Now, this equation is in the form of a squared minus b squared, which is the difference of two perfect squares, which you can express as a plus b, a minus b. Now, from here, we have a is equal to x to the power 3, and we have b equal to 2 to the power 3. Now, that implies that a plus b, this is equal to x. Now, we have that a is equal to x to the power 3, and b is equal to 2 to the power 3. So, this implies that a plus b, this is equal to x to the power 3, plus 2 to the power 3, this is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 1. We have that a minus b, this is the same thing as x to the power 3, subtract 2 to the power 3, and this is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 2. Now let's solve case 1 here. Case 1 in this case is equation 1, which is x to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 3. This is equal to 0. Now this is in the form of a cubed plus b cubed, which we can express as a plus b a squared, subtract ab plus b squared. Now that implies that x to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 3, this can be expressed as x plus 2, x squared here, yeah? subtract 2x plus 2 squared, which is 4, and this is equal to 0. Now we have two parts here, yeah? we have that x plus 2, this is equal to 0, and we have that x squared minus 2x plus 4, this is equal to 0. The second step here, we have that x1 here, this is equal to minus 2 as the first value of x. Now let's solve for the other values of x in this quadratic equation, which is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, this is equal to 0. So this implies that from this quadratic equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 2, and c is equal to 4. Let's substitute this to the quadratic formula, which is now x2, x3, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all this divided by 2 times a. So let's substitute these values here. Now, to solve for x2, x3, applying this quadratic formula, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, divided by 2a. Let's substitute the values of a, b, and c. So here we'll have minus, this is minus, minus 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is negative 2 squared, subtract 4, times a, which is 1, times c, which is 4, all this divided by 2 times a, which is 1. Now here, we have minus times minus 2, this is 2, plus or minus the square root of minus 2 squared, which is 4, subtract, now this is 4 times 4, subtract 16, all this divided by 2. The next step here, we'll have 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 16, this is minus 12, divided by 2. The next step here, we'll have 2 plus or minus, we can express negative 12 as 4 times 3 times minus 1, all this divided by 2. So that here, we'll have 2 plus or minus, the square root of 4, this is 2, the square root of minus 1, this is i, then square root of 3, divided by 2. So
so in this case we can factor out 2 here so we'll have 2 1 plus or minus i square root of 3 all this given by 2 let's simplify 2 here so this is equal to 1 plus or minus i square root of 3 so this implies that we have x2 equal to 1 plus i square root of 3 and x3 equal to 1 subtract i square root of 3. So this implies that we have two complex solutions here. Two complex solutions here. Now we have that x2 is equal to 1 plus i square root of 3 and x3 equal to 1 minus i square root of 3. Now these are two complex solutions. Eh? So let's proceed to case 2. Now for case 2 here, we have x to power 3 minus 2 to power 3. This is actually the difference of two cubes expressed as a cubed minus b cubed, which we can express as a minus b, a squared plus ab plus b squared. Now that implies that x to power 3 minus 2 to power 3, we can express this as x minus 2. Here we'll have x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared, which is 4. This is equal to 0. So now we have two parts here. The first part is x minus 2, which is equal to 0. And the second part here is the quadratic equation, which is x squared plus 2x plus 4. This is equal to 0. And therefore, x4 is equal to 2. Now let's solve for the other values of x in this quadratic equation. Now a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, and c is equal to 4. Now to solve x5 and x6, we introduce the quadratic formula, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 times a. Substituting the values of a, b, and c, here we'll have minus 2 plus or minus. Now here we'll have b squared, this is 2 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 4. All this divided by 2 times 1. So here you'll have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared, this is 4, subtract 4 times 4, which is 16, divided by 2 times 1. So here you'll have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 16, this is minus 12, divided by 2. Now here we have minus 2 plus or minus, we can express minus 12 as 4 times 3 times minus 1, all this divided by 2. So that here we'll have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 4, this is 2, the square root of minus 1, this is i, then square root of 3, all this divided by 2. So let's proceed from here. Now here we have minus 2 plus or minus 2i square root of 3 divided by 2. So we can factor out 2 here so that we'll have 2 negative 1 plus or minus i square root of 3 divided by 2. So let's simplify 2 here so that we'll have here minus 1 plus or minus i square root of 3. So this implies that x5 is equal to negative 1 plus i square root of 3. And x6 is equal to negative 1 subtract i square root of 3. Therefore, this implies that we have six solutions to this uh, math problem. We have six solutions. The first solution here, x1, is equal to minus 2. We have x2 and x3. This is equal to 1 plus or minus i square root of 3. And we have that x. 4, this is equal to 2, and we have that x5, x6, this is equal to minus 1 plus or minus i square root of 3. So these are the six solutions that we have. These are the six solutions we have. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and hit that subscription button.